So the fact is, what we've, what we've neglected is this very, very, very important part of disruption. We like to talk about disruption uh, because it sounds cool, but true disruption means threatening your existing product line and your past investments. Breakthrough products disrupt your current lines of business. That's true in my business, that's true in the real estate business, that's true in the conference business, and that's really what happened. When you think about who got it and who didn't, when Steve Jobs disrupted the computer industry, Gateway didn't get it. They said, boy, that's stupid. You know, when you think about Amazon disrupting the retail business, I always, I always tell everybody in, in my world, I want to be Target and Walmart. Because when Amazon disrupted the retail business, there were so, certain folks that said, oh my God, nobody's ever going to a, to a store again. Think Circuit City. We've got to be all E and they couldn't compete with Amazon. Then there was the Sears and Pennies that said, what a stupid fad. You know, people are always gonna love the day after Thanksgiving waiting in line for three hours. This is what people like to do. Well, they're Sears and Pennies. Target and Walmart said, we're damn good at what we do, but we also have to be ready for that future. Well, and that's what Jefferson has done. If somebody has pancreatic cancer, just so happens we have the best pancreatic cancer surgeon in the nation. Nobody cares what our digital strategy is. Nobody cares what our marketing strategy is. Nobody really cares how big our TV is or how, how, how the food is. But the other 97% of people in, in, in Philadelphia really are looking at Jefferson as their partner.